God damn it. I love business. Come and coach Cardi, yeah. Come and coach Cardi, yeah. So look, you just got started in entrepreneurship, maybe digital marketing. So I would say that there is really only one thing that sets apart the entrepreneurs that win compared to the ones that don't. And that one thing is persistence. So, as you guys can tell, I'm having a rather good day. It is Monday and I have a bunch of client meetings this week. Obviously, that's actually why I'm here in Amsterdam right now. The whole purpose of this trip was for my marketing agency. Now, this trip hasn't gone completely to plan. I had to cancel all of my first week's meetings, but now at least I have this week and I can be grateful for that. And once again, these meetings aren't to inquire or anything like that. These meetings are to sign the dotted line and for them to get started as clients of mine. So business is booming. As well as that, got some affiliate commissions that have rolled through. Always fun to get some passive income. Apart from that, Influencer Ignited is launching very, very soon, as you guys know, and that is exciting as fuck for me. Anyways, my point is with all of this, there are days in business where it is genuinely like taking a drug. The high that you get from business or entrepreneurship is incomparable to anything else in the world. Trust me, I know, I've tried pretty much every other high. I'm not exactly proud to say it, but hey, you know, we're very transparent on this channel. So look, I can honestly say that when you have your good days in business, it is the most fulfilling, rewarding thing in the world. You know, cause you go into business, you go into entrepreneurship and there's no roadmap. You know, people can help you, people can guide you. You can, you can take courses, coaches, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this thing is confusing as fuck. When you go into a job, there's a clear path. When you go into university, school, there's a clear path. You just follow it. <laughs> With business, you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Like the people at the highest level, they still, with most things, they, they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. I know because right now I'm sitting in my business mentor's house. He's a millionaire. And to this day, there are projects that roll through. He has no idea how the fuck he's going to pull it off. The point is, he stays persistent. Now, obviously, he's been an entrepreneur for 15 years now. I've been an entrepreneur for, I guess you could say three years, but realistically more along the lines of a year properly. The thing you guys don't realize is that I get shit thrown in my face all the time. But the only reason I keep pushing forward is because I have this delusional persistence. And that's what I recommend you guys have. Like, look, let me give you guys a couple examples. I dropped out of high school. Like, yes, it was a calculated move. But at the end of the day, I dropped out of high school. Everyone around me, including my business mentor, was like, Iman, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you are delusional. You are ridiculous. And hey, I had to stay persistent when even my own business mentor, someone who has been an entrepreneur for 15 years, even he was telling me, dude, like, it's cool what you're doing, but dropping out of high school at 17, you're fucking out of your mind. I persisted through all of that. Then the two, three months after that, I, I took all of that shit that was thrown at me and I channeled it into my business. And then what happened? I got big headed. You know, business was going great. So what do I do? I hire someone with a salary of $50,000 a year. I'm 17 years old. I decide to hire someone and you guys probably know him, Ryan, incredible guy. You saw him on the channel briefly. You know, so I decide to hire him. I decide, hey, it doesn't make sense to have someone local in the United Kingdom. Why don't you bring someone over from America? <laughs> so I bring over someone from America with a salary of $50,000 a year. I get super fucking big headed. Then I decide, hey, you know what? Why don't I get a swanky 4K a month apartment? So you know what? Now we got an employee. We got an apartment. He comes over here and I have not set any structure at all. The structural integrity of my marketing agency at that point was dog shit. So Ryan, he leaves after seven days and you know what, like I don't even blame him because I had not been experienced enough as an entrepreneur. And although it was a sweet arrangement, you know, and we worked well together, it wasn't anywhere near what I thought it would be. So, you know, he goes back to America. That month I lost 50% of my clients because I said I could deliver on stuff, which I couldn't actually deliver on. So here we go. My first employee stays with me for a week and then he basically decides you, you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. I'm out of here. Obviously, that's not the exact reason. Um, his heart wasn't really in it. It wasn't sort of the work he wanted to do, but you get my point. So, you know, he goes back to America. I lose 50% of my total revenue. My apartment, that falls through because now I have to put all my money and focus back into rebuilding the business. That was early June. Then in August, I lose 50% of my clients. Now, if any of you guys haven't been in business long enough, August is just like, no matter what, 
industry you're in, August is just a shit month. I end up losing 50% of my clients. And once again, I take full responsibility for that because I would say that I got complacent. I got complacent. I didn't stay on the cutting edge of things. And for that reason, a few of my clients actually dropped me. And I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to admit my fault there. My point is, well, no shit, you guys see the highlights. I actually still document all of my lows. But like, of course, you guys remember the highlights. You guys don't go back and you remember the times where I had to stay persistent. Then in general, every single day, I have doubts. Like, I doubt myself. And that's normal. Like, the, the funny thing is, uh, you're on the other side of this and you're doubting yourself and you have fear inside of you and you think you're the only one. You're not the only one. We're all scared. I, I need you to understand that. We're all scared. We all have no idea what the fuck we're doing. But the beautiful thing is, if you stay persistent and you stay strong, you always figure it out. So for any of you guys out there who are having your low day right now in your entrepreneurial journey, what I really want to say to you is that you're not alone. You're genuinely not. You know, and I, I really, really do mean that. I really hope you take that to heart. And outside of that, I just want you to like take a deep breath in right now. And I just want you to be grateful. I know this sounds weird. I know a lot of you guys aren't into meditation or, or Eastern philosophy in the same way that I am. But like, I, I really just want you to take a deep breath in and I want you to feel the gratitude just flow through your body. Because you need to understand, maybe you're working eight to 10 hours a day, but you are working eight to 10 hours a day for you. You're working for your future. You know, you're not working eight to 10 hours a day for someone else to make someone else rich. You're doing it for yourself. And the beautiful thing is, I know most of you guys watching this, you're probably doing some sort of digital marketing. You're not in the same position as my business mentor is in. You know, when he started his business, for three years, he didn't take a salary. For three years, he wasn't making any money, you know? And then obviously, it got to a point where it starts making a lot of money and he's done very well. That's beside the point. If you're in digital marketing, in your first year, if you're dedicated, if you stay persistent, I think you should be making at least $50,000, probably more along the lines of $100,000. Dude, people go to university and they fucking study and they work, go up the corporate ladder and that, the whole process takes them 10 years. You can do it in one and you can do it for yourself, not for someone else. So really the only difference between the wannabe entrepreneurs and the real ones is the fact that when times get tough, the real ones stay persistent. The wannabe entrepreneurs, they go on Instagram, they go look at some more motivational quotes, go watch a raw, raw video. They do that when shit hits the wall. The real entrepreneurs, they fucking pull up their boots, they get their elbows in the dirt, and they fucking make shit happen. Because that is what an entrepreneur does. An entrepreneur finds solutions when everything is fucking scrambled and there is no light visible. They find that light. Anyways, little rant over. I'm hoping that this helped one of you guys out there. Time to get back to work. I need to work on a few funnels, print out some contracts, and continue being delusionally persistent and working on my business when there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Anyways, you guys get the point. I'll see you guys tomorrow.